Hi, today we're going to talk about the three types of information or categories of information that you might find when you're doing a research paper. Sometimes you might have a professor say to you, I'm only looking for a primary source of information. So we're going to give a few examples and discuss what's different between a primary, a secondary, and a tertiary source. So primary source is information in its original form that has not been published elsewhere. Some examples of this might be a newspaper article, a first-hand recounting of events, a first publication of a scientific study, original artwork, the handwritten manuscript, uh, letters between a couple people, or historical documents. So these are things where you can look back and there's really not going to be a lot of citations of other information in there because it is the original source of the original information. Secondary information is information that has been removed from its original source and repackaged. So this information has been restated, rearranged, and examines or interprets information from one or more primary sources. So a secondary source will often cite a primary source as its original source of information. Some examples might be classmates notes on a lecture, a newspaper article reporting on a scientific study, an article critiquing a new album, or an encyclopedia article on a topic or a biography. All of these things are secondary sources of information. Tertiary sources of information often lead you to secondary sources of information. They often cite secondary information and they are often collections of information. Some examples might be a biography of critical works, an index to general periodical articles, a library catalog, fact books, or guidebooks. Tertiary information will often lead you, as I said, to secondary information, which will often lead you to a primary source. So if you find a tertiary source of information that discusses a topic that you're looking for, don't be afraid to look into citations of that tertiary source to find the secondary source, and then find the citations of the secondary source to find the primary source, if you are in fact instructed to find a primary source. If you need help with this sort of information, or can't find anything, ask your librarian if you have any questions. We'll be more than happy to help you.